Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Health. This is FFmpeg video tutorial for you. In this tutorial, we are going to see some video transition effects. Basically, these transitions are GL transition. We can use it with the help of FFmpeg command. So first, I will show you the demonstration, a sample video in which I have used GL transitions. Here we go. So guys, you have seen I have used uh, two transitions in this video and uh, now we will see how we can use it. I have prepared the list of the very uh, cool GL transitions here in this notepad. You can see we have a fade, fade grayscale, circle open, directional wrap, directional wipe, cross wrap, cross zoom, dreamy square wire, angular, radial and cube and one more is there. So uh, this is swap and uh, we can use it with the help of FFmpeg command. But before starting with the GL transition, we need some prerequisite. So first you need FFmpeg. I hope this is installed on your system. Now the second one is we need Node.js. With the help of Node.js, we will install the module, the right module so we can use the GL transitions. The third one is the mod module ffmpeg-concat module. So I will explain you now how to start with. So guys, let's get started. So first step, you have to install Node.js on your system and uh, the link given in the description box. And this is my video that I have already published a long back so you can uh, watch this video and just install the node.js and uh, version doesn't matter you will have the latest version if you follow that video if you have already installed the node.js so you can just check the version uh, by typing the simple command node hyphen hyphen version and then you will get the uh, this information like uh, the version num version number that means uh, the Node.js is installed on your system. If you have not installed, so please install first. This is most important. Otherwise, you cannot proceed with the step two. So first, I would suggest, please watch this video and just install the Node.js and proceed with the step two. And the guys who have already installed the Node.js, they can jump to the step two. Now I'm assuming you have installed the Node.js and now we are going to step 2 so we will install this uh, ffmpeg concat module through the npm okay guys so we are ready to uh, run this command we have to simply open the command prompt and then simply we have to type this command i have given this command in the description box as well you can copy this from that place So I'm copying from this notepad and going to run it. I just pressed enter. Now this will take some time. And guys, uh, this will download this package from the internet. So please make sure your internet is working. And this will take some time to download the all stuff. I have already installed this step. So I will get different kind of results right here or the in no notifications in this uh, command prompt but you are doing the first time so you will get a uh, different kind of information here and then you will get the message that uh, your package is installed so we, we are waiting for the results and in my case I have already installed this package once that's why I'm getting this kind of message and uh, if you run this command you will get different kind of uh, information right here and you will get the message that your package is installed now we are ready to run the ffmpeg command and now we will concat two videos with one transition i will show you demo 
So first I will show you the command and these are the uh, GL transitions list basically GL transition name we have to use in the ffmpeg command now I will explain you the ffmpeg command how to concat two videos with one transition this is very simple and straightforward command okay here's the command and you can see we have the uh, invoking words that will invoke the right library ff mpeg hyphen concat then we have the space hyphen t t means the transition now you have to give the name of the transition that you want to use to concat two videos so I am using the cube and uh, you have a choice you can change the name if you want to try different just provide the different name as I have changed it to angular okay now we are using angular transition okay guys after that we have hyphen D D means the duration duration of the transition if you increase the duration that means the transition will be slow okay and if you increase this value this is the milliseconds and you can increase the value so you can delay the transition okay if you reduce the value this milliseconds value then your transition will be very fast so I'm putting 5000 so this will be visible easily visible okay now final we have hyphen o o referring to the output file name so you have to give output file name right here after that we have two file name file 1 and the file 2 the video 1 and the video 2 so we are going to add these two videos with one transition once we concat these two so angular transition will be in the middle of these two videos so guys this command is very simple and I hope this is clear now one important note before going to run this the output video size and the FPS are determined by the first input videos I found this information from the FFmpeg concat documentation this is the important thing so I want to share with you now guys we are ready to run this FFmpeg concat command now we need two input videos so I'm uh, looking for the two files two sample files to concat so I have deleted the previous file that was the output of uh, the first test run okay guys so we have these two files I'm going to rename it because we have used file 1 file 2 this way in the command this is the video file 1 and this is the video file 2 and now I have to change the name right here okay now command is ready we are ready to run it and we will get the final output file with the name output.mp4 okay now going to run it so we have these files here so I'm going to open the command prompt from this place so I don't need to change the path in the command prompt okay guys we are ready to run press enter and uh, this is still in process and once you will see these two green uh, statements then press enter one more time so this will automatically start processing your videos and the final output file will appear soon this process is little bit slow uh, when you perform this with the uh, lengthy videos definitely this will take much time this was taking too long but I have uh, speed up the recording speed this process is little bit slow on my machine I'm using the fourth generation of CPU but in case you have a powerful machine with the graphic card so definitely this will 
uh, be faster than this place okay the file is generated with the name output.mv4 now we have to check it and we will see that the transitions are there or not okay hi, here we go guys so I'm opening this file with the VLC player now see here okay guys see the transition that's cool so this transition is working perfectly this is the angular transition that we have used now you are free to use uh, the other transition as well as so you can guys try it and uh, start using different transition with the same command two things you have to remember first one is that you want to change so just give the name of the transition effect and now the second one is the duration if you want a longer duration for the transition so just increase the milliseconds and all this information given in the description for your help so please look at there and start using it I hope you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool idea